bring the, back any memories of uh, your days as uh, elementary school students? Absolutely. I mean, I didn't have any any big time sports like this, but we had some high school guys come back when our, our football team was here. So it does. How's your duck duck goose game? <laughs> Mine's not very good. Quicks is better. He's faster than me. I didn't get the show box speed. <laughs> <laughs> so what does this mean to you coming back and just seeing these kids smile and just be like it's Christmas Day really? Yeah, for me, I can remember, you know, being in elementary school and uh, Harlem Globetrotters coming to my school and one of them had picked me up to do something. So that was always something that stuck out to me. So for us to be able to come back here and do this for these kids is really special. What did it do to you, uh, Emmanuel? To, how does that memory set in your mind of a Globetrotter? interacting um, with the world for me it's something i'll never forget it happened when i was like maybe seven or eight so for me to be uh 20 years old is something i'll never forget and i'm sure these kids will never forget that's coming in what do you hope they take away from this um that life's a lot bigger than basketball about being a great person helping people out um life's bigger than yourself um so just little things like that if we can just drop small nuggets like that uh, I hope that uh, that'll stick with it. How would you like it if the in the real games the baskets were eight foot eight foot uh, tall? Wouldn't be that fair with Nick. Uh, <laughs> trying to guard him on an eight foot rim would be, would be pretty tough. It helped me out a little bit. How's this compared to practice? <laughs> practice? <laughs> um, just more fun than practice. Practice is pretty fun. Uh, I guess this is more uh, laid back. Um, but you know it's great to just be able to come here and spend time with these kids and you know they get to see us you know uh you know i guess being with each other and being with them and the teachers get to see that we're a positive role model for them so that's probably the best thing about nate i saw you were high-fiving some of the kids along the sideline spinning the ball on your finger what sort of reaction did you get from the kids uh, they were loving it like like emmanuel said it's, it's a lot bigger than us and take a little time out of your day to, to put a smile on a kid's face and, and to see their face light up when they get to talk with us or hang out with us for 15, 20 minutes is, it means a lot more to me than, than people get to see at the end of the day. Nate, you were in their shoes about 10, 12 years ago. What do you think about that? Not that long ago, is it? No, it, it is a little bit, but uh, no, it, it's really cool to kind of give back and, and to see the, the kids and see their reactions when we get to walk in the gym and you take, like I said, take five minutes out of your day to sit down and talk with them. It means a lot more to them. Uh, and, and you get to kind of see what it's like for them. You see their faces light up. It means a lot. What about the food? The food is the real reason you came. <laughs> the food you gave out. You oh, yeah, yeah. Out. No, yeah. That's, yeah. The, <laughs> that's the other thing, too, is like Emmanuel said, it's a lot bigger than us. And if we can give them uh, some meals and, and take time out of our day to prepare that for them, uh, it kind of makes us feel a little bit better about what we're doing and, and shows us that it's a lot bigger than us. Why Khalil jumping over the principal for the dunk? Why not one of you guys? He's the most athletic dude on the team. Really? And I needed a little bit of a warm-up if I was going to try to jump over anyway. How high did he jump, would you say? Six feet? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yeah, I have no clue. <laughs>